Hey guys, I'm Molly with Design Loves Detail and I'm gonna give you a tour of our mudroom breezeway today. Can't wait to show you more, so stay tuned. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of when our next video is live. We're gonna jump right into this tour. So this space I really thought could be a unique and interesting way to enter the house because a lot of times we put thought and care into designing the entry of a home because it's the first thing our guests see when they come in. But a lot of our families, we enter through the garage, right? You, you park your car and you come in through the garage and sometimes that mudroom area or whatever it is off your garage can be kind of neglected and sort of an afterthought because it's not as central to uh, guests entering the home. But uh, I wanted to take that into consideration because I obviously want my family to be excited about coming home. I want to be excited about coming home. And so I thought if I make this bright, beautiful space right off of our garage that lets in all this sunlight and feels happy um, and kind of, I, I call it a breezeway because it's kind of like almost like a hallway. And I figured it would be like sort of symbolic of <laughs> you can kind of leave all your trouble like as you walk through this happy place and then go into your kitchen and the rest of your home and it's kind of random but I actually think it has worked. I love this space and it does make me happy. The flooring here, this is actually a slate tile and it's really functional too because it hides all the dirt which I think is a big plus for a mudroom space. Uh, this is a three by nine I believe is the size and I got this at Floor and Decor and they have some options similar online that I'll link for you in case you don't have a local Floor and Decor store. I did a brick pattern in thirds is what that's called if you're kind of wanting to do something like this. I've been really happy with it, very durable and very pretty too. A bench so that you can sit down and put your shoes on. This one is really cute, I'll link it for you. I like that it has a little bit of that aged feel to it, almost like it's an antique bench. Uh, and then I wanted, of course, this to be a spot where I showcase our family. So we did this gallery wall and I love this. These are actually Ikea frames with mats that are super affordable. I think they're about $15 each, but it looks really nice and clean and high end. But the prints, um, I also, if you go onto my Instagram stories and click on mudroom highlights, I've included where you can order these prints as well, these 12 by 12 prints for $1.99, such a good deal. Here we also, I, I like to always, you know, have my signature greenery moment and so, uh, this mini olive tree uh, faux one, of course, in the pot is just a, a cute little moment there on this. It's like a white concrete stool. So that's really cute, I think, and then kind of helps frame out this bench area. Other details that I wanted to really bring into this space are the ceiling, which I think just sets it apart. It's a wallpaper actually. That's just a simple stripe pattern. I don't know, it makes me happy. I love it. And these light fixtures too, I love those. They are, um, I love the repetition when you have a long hallway like this to just repeat a light fixture. It almost has like a, it reminds me of, we go tour the mansions in Rhode Island. If any of you guys have ever been there, we've been there a few times and it's just so fun to see all those uh, turn of the century mansions that have actually a lot of details that are, I think, timeless. And so this kind of reminds me of that. They had the long hallways and kind of like that elaborate type feeling, even though these are really kind of reasonable and they're just, but they have like, they remind me of Gatsby or something. I love it. The door handles are another favorite. They are from M Tech Hardware. And this is the tumbled white bronze. And what's cool is this is a, they call it like a, what do they call it? Like a living finish or something like that, where it, it's um, a live finish, no, I don't know. Anyway, it basically, it kind of changes over time, but very subtly. I haven't noticed a huge difference. It's maybe gotten a tiny bit more on the gold tones, um, but it is, since it's a more natural, raw material, it kind of um, ages over time, which I love to get a little bit of that patina on it, which patina means kind of like an aged look. Uh, love those so much. On the other side, these doors, I'll just open it and show you, are the um, Booth Bay Gray, like my front door. So we've got a little bit of color there. Um, I kept them white on the back because I wanted um, it to be kind of sleek and simple. And then I brought in, as you'll see, a similar color over here on the cabinetry. We've got really fun little lockers that 
that don't feel like lockers. They, they are custom cabinets built by um, Deco Design. And these are another MTAC hardware piece, which I love. Uh, so here you can kind of see how the setup is and we have extra storage up here for the stuff that isn't used as much but this has been amazing and having it be closed of course is is really important there's the little pass-through that we did in this first one to in into the mud room or the laundry room I mean so that kids can throw their dirty coats and things right through there um, there's more features like that in our home that I revealed in our I think it's home hacks video so kind of fun stuff again these have the fun doors that go into the kitchen so it kind of has that antique look um, with this miniature door and then the transom above i think i shared that in the kitchen video but those were just from a vintage cabinet that i repurposed and made into transoms so it was kind of a unique little original element that I could add to the house that I've really loved. I did two sets of doors just because I love the look and it brings in lots of light with the um, inset glass there. And it kind of gives us nice flow from the backyard patio area into this space, which of course is right off the kitchen. So it's functioned really well. And then um, these two, I did roller shades. These are from Select Blinds. I'm going to do, I think I mentioned to you, I'll do a, a window coverings video soon that kind of goes into each detailed space but these are a woven roller shade and the color I think is desert pretty sure from select blinds this is like one of my favorite spots even though it's like a transition space it's just always a happy place to be <laughs> so thank you guys for watching be sure to subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of when our next video is live